Clops, AOB, LOLC, from Queens, New York City. I paint because there's a fucking rush that I love that goes along with, with painting spots, tagging, the fame that you get, companionship that you can make along the way. I'm somewhat of a new writer. I've been painting for five years now. Dude, this is a sick shot. Are you sure you don't want to get closer than that? But it's the yeah, eyes. Can you really zoom in on that? Yeah. Where exactly do you want to do it? Between the, the last two post snow bills? Yeah. I got into painting when I started to notice all the graffiti around the city and I always wondered to myself like how do these people do this graffiti, like how did they get here and who are they? I wanted to try it out for myself. Cops are everywhere in the city. They're not avoidable. There are things that you can do, ways that you can paint and carry yourself so that cops won't stop you. A lot of times it's other people that fuck me up, like, you know, because I'm so careful. I don't do drugs or, or get drunk and then go out and paint. I paint sober. The few times I've been bagged, it's, it's always some fucking dickhead that, that gets us caught, you know. I agree that graffiti costs money to buff, and that's taxpayers' money that goes to doing it. I think it sucks that graffiti causes people to have to pay for it, and I acknowledge that. I walk the middle path as far as quantity versus quality. I want my shit to be up, but I want to also do burners and drop ill shit. And even if it's just like a quick tag, I want it to have style. You want your work to be seen in different boroughs from the small little white out pen tags on a mailbox to the giant tags on the highway or trucks rolling by, everything. When I'm painting streets, I want it to be fast and I still want it to look good even to an average person walking by so that anyone really can appreciate it. Definitely is uh, a large uh, group of people that love like the old graffiti that was on the subways where there was pieces and people were taking the time and they had the luxury of dropping fucking burners and whole cars and people love that. They almost romanticize that era of graffiti but that era is long gone and people don't have that time to fucking paint. You spray yourself? No, I can't see it. No. I think it was just when I pulled it out. Mm -hmm. Made that noise at the side. Extra washes over here because we're in Harlem. There's cops everywhere in Harlem. Graffiti is illegal and there's, there's penalties, there's fines, there's community service. People even get jail time 
so it has to be done fast. I like looking at other people's shit like when they drop pieces or or they catch tags. I notice who's up, who's doing it, like who's bringing style to the table. I notice who's killing it. There's always going to be some little thing that someone's doing that someone doesn't like, you know. People can't please everyone. There's always someone that's going to be hating on you. So I try not to focus too much on that type of negativity. I see graffiti as a bridge to the art world. I want to be able to just do my own gallery shows, travel the world, get paid to paint. Like, that's fucking sick. That's the level that I want to be on. If some rich asshole wants to buy, like, my art, like, fuck yeah, like, that's cool. Like, give me money for my art that I like to do and I'm going to do it anyway. People want to say, like, oh, if you sell artwork or any write graffiti, like, you're a fucking sellout. Like, fuck you. No, fuck that shit. Like, I'm, I'm doing me. Yo, where's that bag I gave you? When I write graffiti, I like to write things that challenge the norm, challenge a conventional idea in society that people have that they get from the mainstream media. Because the mainstream media pushes a lot of these ideas that aren't necessarily true. So when I write political messages, things poking fun at topics, I want people to think about what it is they really believe and challenge that idea. A lot of people are like fucking zombies, like wandering around in society, following things that the TV tells them to do, or people just fucking do what others do. When I do a political piece, or if I write a sarcastic message, like I just want people to stop and think about what the fuck they believe and why they believe it. There's a lot of things in America that I don't like. There's a lot of black lives being lost at the hands of fucking asshole white cops who are just abusing their power and just taking advantage of people. There's racism, there's a dis discrimination. There's things that are happening behind the scenes that we don't know about, like the CIA and the fucking NSA spying on people. I think people are definitely lazy. Like, they want the easy way out. If you want to get something, good out of life, something worthwhile, you gotta work for it. You don't even really have to go to school, you can fucking hop on the internet and read lots of free material and learn things about life, about the government, about people. Your obligation as a human being existing on this earth is to figure out why the fuck you're here. Anything that you do or achieve in life, for the most part, is really just going to be gone when you die. You're not going to take any of that shit with you. So while you're here, you might as well figure out why you're here. Figure out if there's a higher power, what's going to happen after you die. That's shit that I think about. I don't really consider myself a criminal. I'm a pretty nice guy for the most part. Some people say I'm an asshole, but it's usually people that don't know me. That's part of the culture. There's always shit talking behind people's backs, but when they're fucking right there, you know, in your face, they're not gonna say shit. They'll stay quiet.
there's definitely like some graph groupies that exist that are out there that are easy to just like swoop in on and you know get some pussy i mean that's really with any culture with any subculture like there's fans and there's people that dig your shit and they want to meet you and they want to get to know you and know about you yo I'm not looking at graffiti from a really destructive perspective. There's writers that go out there and they just want to fuck shit up and they just want to vandalize everything. And they just see it as an outlet or like a stress reliever. When I go out and paint, I look at it like I'm creating something. I'm creating something from nothing, basically. There's ways you can do graph that I think are great, you know, for everyone. You know, if you do something like a dope character or something, you know, you bring more. You bring like an artistic side to graph, you know, and then and that way, you know, you can reach a broader audience, with it, which I think is great. I think sometimes you do have to break the law. There are some laws that are made to control people and to keep people suppressed. So sometimes it's necessary. Hey, yo, 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 my man, my man. Yo, homeboy. You can't do that, my man. What? My gate, my man. Yeah, work here. You can't do that, man. Oh, it's going to get on me for, for that shit. Okay. Okay. Right now. Two seconds. Oh, man. Oh, shit. 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 O